Hi, I'm David and I'm a marketing manager. Uh, my company switched from SharePoint to OneDrive and you can click below to watch more reviews. SharePoint and OneDrive solve similar business problems. Uh, specifically, uh, each platform provides a means to store files and to share files. Uh, you can certainly store all types of files, uh, whether Word documents, uh, PNGs, JPEGs, PDFs, uh, and both platforms enable you to create custom folders and subfolders and to share content. OneDrive is best for collaboration with other team members. It is fantastic for creating shared directories and folders and subfolder directories quickly and efficiently. Another benefit of OneDrive is I can easily open any file and edit it within my browser or I can very easily open it in the desktop application. Uh, it changes are made in real time and multiple individuals can open the same file and be making changes simultaneously. All changes again are saved in real time so there's never the risk of losing work. Even when you open the files in the desktop application, those changes continue to be made in real time. You can then close the app when you're done. No saving is necessary because everything is being saved. Um, renaming files is simple. You can batch download files very easily. And it's just a very intuitive system uh, insofar as file management is concerned. Microsoft SharePoint is very good for storing files and creating directories and subdirectories. Um, renaming files is easy and there are also calendar options that can be um, placed into the application which is good for if you want to look at a month at a time to see what your team is doing um, or if you want to um, list projects that need a particular deadline. Getting started with uh, SharePoint can be challenging, honestly. Uh, it is not an intuitive system for novice computer users. Uh, there, there are a lot of rules and, uh, I guess, forms and uh, styles that you need to learn about uh, as you create your directories and your subdirectories. Um, there are also uh, limitations as far as like sharing and permissions that can be challenging. Um, uh, with OneDrive, I felt that a lot more intuitive, especially for users who have any experience working uh, online. Um, just to give you an example, so uh, I set up a marketing share a marketing OneDrive directory. Um, when I set up that directory, I was the admin, and so I'm the admin. Um, and other people in my team needed access to those files. Um, they needed uh, viewing rights. Some of them needed uh, editing rights. And with OneDrive, it was very simple to do this. You simply click, uh, there's a button on the upper right where you can add users. Uh, you just type in, you start typing in the name of anyone uh, in your company or in your organization that you want to give access to. Their name pops up, you click it, you um, send, a, send the, uh, approval and they get an email saying hey you're you now have access to this this drive click here to access the files uh, very very easy very intuitive um, you can also very easily change those permissions because you'll get a uh, as, as you as you add more uh, individuals to your OneDrive directory um, you can change permissions you can remove people who might not need to um, see the content and, and then as far as um, building out your OneDrive library itself, uh, it, honestly, it couldn't be easier. Um, e everything is, is controlled through a dashboard at the top. So you'll see uh, options such as create new folder, uh, download, copy, uh, rename. It's, it's all intuitive. And that's probably what I like best about OneDrive is the intuitiveness of it. You don't need a engineering degree or a computer science degree to use OneDrive. It's really uh, manufactured and, and built for everyday individuals regardless of their skill level or comfort level. Uh, I'll talk real quickly too about another option that I absolutely love about OneDrive, 
which is it's super easy to sync your OneDrive directory onto your desktop. So even though I go out to Chrome almost every day into my OneDrive to access files, um, I often forget that I can just simply open up my um, C drive and I can see my marketing directory right from there. Um, I can double click it, I can access the folders. It's super easy that way if I need to copy and paste a lot of folders or, um, or files and or if I need to export those into a zip file that I want to share with other team members. Uh, it's, or um, at, at my company we have multiple OneDrive directories. Um, so for example our product team might need access to some of the files in marketing. Quite often they do. Um, so I could do two things. I could clone those files and copy them over to the product directory or I could create shortcuts to those files so, meaning that when product opens up that file and edits it, I'm seeing those changes as well, which is what we always do. So we have one um, true version of each file rather than having multiple files with different changes made. Um, and again, it's it's all very, very simple. And one other comment I'll make is, um, while most of our team are PC users, we have several Mac users too. And um, for those users, uh, such as my supervisor, um, who always uses Mac, um, same it's basically the same experience. Um, her user experience is no different than mine, even though we're on uh, different, uh, you know, she's on iOS and I'm on Windows. Um, so it's, it's, it's all good, and uh, I highly recommend OneDrive. There's a number of considerations your organization may need to take uh, when deciding on a uh, file sharing application or a file storage database uh, platform. Uh, such as SharePoint, OneDrive, Dropbox. There's there's a few of them available. Um, you know, for for our team, it, it really came down to uh, intuitiveness, ease of use, security, uh, which uh, you may or may not know, but both um, OneDrive and SharePoint are very secure. So I would not uh, discount SharePoint from any security perspective. But OneDrive again uh, is going to give you that same level of security. Everything is protected and encrypted, uh, your files are safe. Um, but for, for us, it ultimately came down to um, ease of use, um, ability to, to share and collaborate, uh, again, like in real time, multiple people working in similar file, the same file at the same time. Um, ability to quickly and easily uh, reorganize your files because we have from 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 marketing we have often uh, multiple versions of files what I mean by that is we may create a file save it as draft one review it with the team then archive that file into an older versions folder and work from a draft two um, and the reason we do that rather than overwriting the existing files we want a historical record so um, it's a great platform for you know, building folders such as older versions, archived versions, do not delete versions, however you want to name your, your folder structure. Um, so that that was a big consideration for us. Uh, and then I guess the another consideration is, uh, is a great feature, is it's very easy within OneDrive to, uh, if you want to share a file with individuals, uh, and I do this all the time, uh, you just navigate to the file, right click, copy the link, you can paste it into an email. Um, you can also, uh, because Outlook is, is connected with everything, um, you have the option to either attach it as a link or you can attach a copy of the file. So, so this is great for people who travel who may need to work offline. So now um, they may not be able to get out to the web. They don't have to. They can work from a local file that's on their desktop uh, and then have, have those, uh, you know, any changes that they make get uh, propagated over to the team members. Um, so those are some of the considerations we made, right? Ease of use, ease of accessibility, uh, intuitiveness, uh, very low learning curve. Um, honestly, price was probably not even a factor. Um, it was really um, the features and the functions and the security and the time saved uh, and just the overall ability to manage, uh, I'm gonna say, probably thousands of files at this point uh, with with oh and I should comment too 
Um, the search functionality is super. Um, you can type in a partial name or a full name. Um, the search will pull up um, the word, e either the file name itself or text that's in the file. So that's super, that saved me um, <laughs> countless hours of searching for files uh, that I may not have used for the last two years or so. And then suddenly there's a request, hey, do you have this file? And it's like, oh, let me search for that because I, I remember it, but I couldn't for the life of me remember what it's called. So I just search a couple keywords and, and there it is. Um, so those are some of the reasons that, uh, th those are some of the considerations. And uh, again, uh, for us, all signs pointed to OneDrive.